Hey guys, today I'm gonna share with you my favorite Final Cut shortcuts. Knowing the shortcuts on the keyboard in Final Cut can really speed up your workflow a lot. And let me tell you, there are a lot of shortcuts in Final Cut. I don't know anyone who can remember them all right off the top of their head. So today I'm just gonna share with you the ones that I use all the time to speed up my workflow. Now, if you're new to Final Cut and you're just kind of being self-taught and you're just sort of learning, I've got something that could really help you out on my website, jenjager.com. I have a course called Final Cut Rockstar. This is such an amazing course because what I do is I give you all of the video and graphic elements that we're gonna use in the video we create in that course and then we're gonna actually build it together step by step. And you are not gonna believe the advanced techniques that you're gonna learn in this course, but it really starts out at the very beginning for a beginner. So if you like what you see today in Final Cut and you want to learn more, head on over to jenjager.com, check out Final Cut Rockstar. But right now, let's dive right into my favorite shortcuts. Number one is probably one of the most handy tools in Final Cut, and that is Shift Z. Shift Z resizes all of your windows in Final Cut. So if you're zoomed way in on your timeline and you wanna see your full timeline, just hit that Shift Z combination and it snaps right up so you can see your full timeline. This works in the Canvas window. This also works in the browser window too. Now, speaking of the browser window, my next group of favorite shortcuts is toggling between the different windows on Final Cut. So if you hit Apple, some of you might call it Command, Apple One, that brings you to the browser window. If you hit Apple Two, it brings you down into your timeline. And if you hit Apple Three, it takes you to your canvas. Now let's head down to the timeline for my next favorite shortcut, which is Apple T. Just hit your cursor between two different clips and it creates a cross dissolve. Next, let's hit B for the blade tool. When you hit B, your cursor turns into this little razor blade and you can split one clip into two. Next up, let's hit N for snapping. What the end tool does is it makes it easy for you to jump with your playhead from shot to shot to shot. It also helps you when you drag a clip into your timeline, that clip will snap to the seam in your primary storyline. It just makes everything so much easier. My next favorite shortcut is Apple G, which lets you group different clips together. So you can do, let's say two audio clips, by selecting them both, hitting Apple G, and now they are one unit that you can move around together. This also works for connected clips in your timeline. All right, my next shortcut for you is Option. You might have it as Alt on your keyboard, but typically it's Option, and then click and drag. So you click with your mouse and drag, and you can duplicate a clip so easily in your timeline. This is one that I use a lot when I do my Apple Motion tutorials. My next shortcut is just V. When you hit V on a clip, you disable it so you can see what is underneath. And another great one, guys, is T. If you hit T, you get the slip edit tool on your cursor. So what you can do is hover your mouse over a clip and then click down and drag and look in your canvas, you can see what the first and last frame of that clip duration is. So if you want to avoid a zoom in a shot or get a zoom, you know what motion will be included in your clip. Guys, here's another one of my favorite, favorite shortcuts. This one comes in so handy when I'm logging sound bites, and that is L. When you're working in the timeline and you hit the L key, it automatically plays your timeline, but if you hit L again, it'll play it in higher speed. Safe, it's inviting the engaging engages teams where they are and the activities that they enjoy participating in. Okay, music development, film acting, work development, I just have fun. Then just hit K to pause. And if for some reason you actually wanted to go backwards, you can hit the J key and play it backwards. In full disclosure, J is not a shortcut I use a lot, but some of you may find it handy, especially if you do a lot of action video editing and the JKL 
little trio of shortcuts is definitely one you wanna know. All right, the next one is a shortcut we talk a lot about in my course, Final Cut Rockstar, and that is pasting attributes. So if you have made modifications to one clip and you wanna copy and paste them to another, just select the first clip with the attributes and hit Apple C, and then head on over to the new clip and you're going to select it and hit Apple Shift and V. And here comes your paste attributes window. And then you can select the actual attributes that you want to paste or not paste by checking them on or off. Just hit that paste button. Now, if you want to remove attributes, just do Apple shift and X. And again, the same window pops up and then turn off all the attributes you don't want to remove and just remove the ones you do. Another awesome shortcut is the keyframe viewer. Just select a clip, hit control V to reveal all the keyframes you've made in that clip so you can reposition them or make adjustments. Here's another really handy one, guys. If you wanna open up the color board, just hit Apple six. And if you wanna open or close your audio meters, just hit Apple shift and eight. Speaking of audio, guys, if you want to really quickly raise or lower the audio levels on a clip, just make sure it's selected and you're going to hit control plus to raise that volume one decibel at a time. Or if you want to lower it, just hit control minus and take it lower. Hey guys, I just wanna remind you that you're watching this video on my new Final Cut and Apple Motion dedicated channel. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss a thing. Guys, another really handy shortcut is Control T to bring up a basic title. And I've got another really great shortcut for you, which is Shift N. You wanna make sure you're selected on a clip. Shift N brings up this green bar, which lets you retime your shots to make them faster or slower. And if you wanted a really quick way to make a freeze frame, select a clip, queue up your playhead where you want that freeze frame to be and hit Shift H. That gives you a hold frame, which is a freeze frame, and then you can change the duration of that freeze frame by just dragging on this little handle. Now let's talk about marking in and out points. This is something that comes in really handy in the browser window. Just play your clip and where you want the clip to start in your timeline, hit I, and then to close it out, hit O. Then when you're ready to drop it into your timeline, if you wanna make it a connected clip, hit Q. Or if you wanna drop it into your primary storyline, hit W. This next tool is one that I find to be super underrated and that is the range tool, just hit R. And then you can select a section of your timeline. And why would you wanna do this? One, if you wanna know how long a section of your video is, you can select it. And right here, it tells me this is three seconds and 10 frames. I can also adjust the volume on just this section by hitting control plus to bring the volume up or control minus to bring it down. And the other magical thing that the range tool will do for you is you can export just this section without having to export your entire timeline. That comes in real handy. If you have a client that wants to just review one tiny part of a video and you don't feel like taking the time to export the whole thing. And my last shortcut for you guys is of course, Apple E. This brings up your export window so you can export your video when you are done. So that's it guys, those are my personal favorite Final Cut shortcuts. Which ones do you use that I didn't talk about today? Drop them in the comments and help us all out. Remember, this is my new Final Cut and Apple Motion dedicated channel, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you wanna know more about Final Cut, you really wanna dig in and really understand this software, check out Final Cut Rockstar at jenjager.com. You guys, I will see you next time.